as you guys know, I'm up to round three of the $1,000 project. If you don't know what the $1,000 project is, it's where I hustle, save, earn, create, manifest parcels of $1,000 at a time. And the moment I have $1,000, I go and invest it into shares. So I'm producing passive income. Now I explain exactly how to get on board and how to do this for yourself in my book, The $1,000 Project. And since starting The $1,000 Project, I have invested over $70,000. Now for round three, I'm actually a little bit behind. I have some serious catching up to do, which means going back to the basics for me. Things that have worked for me in the past to quickly hustle up some extra cash. And one of the best and fastest and most effective ways in the past for me that helped, helped me hustle up some extra cash is by selling unwanted things. Now Gumtree, who are sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video, have released their eighth annual report into the second hand economy. Now their findings have discovered that Australian families have over 25 items per household of unwanted goods worth over $4,200 each. Now $4,200 is a lot of money to have just sitting around your home in unwanted goods. That could pay for a family holiday, could help knock off any old toxic credit card debt, help build up some emergency savings, maybe even contribute towards a deposit on a home or even buy more shares just like myself. So I'm encouraging everyone to get on board with me and look at selling your stuff. And it is so quick and easy to do, which is what I want to make this video all about. All right, step number one is to crush that procrastination. No more excuses. I want you to think about the money and what you could do with that money and how much it could help you and how much it could alleviate financial stress in your life. Also, think about how freeing and cathartic it's going to be. No longer looking at unwanted items in your home that are depleting your energy source. And also think about all the storage space that you're going to free up. To download the Gumtree app, now it's a free app to download and it is really quick and easy to use. It's actually the secret to my success. I listed over seven items in less than one hour on Sunday afternoon. And in fact, I was actually going at a really slow, relaxed pace. You could probably list a lot more than I did in one hour. Research what the fair market price is for the items that you're selling. Remember, the purpose of this is to raise some cash for yourself. You do not want to price yourself out of the market. So do your research so you know what to list your items for. Ask for help if you need it. If you're finding this exercise a little bit overwhelming, why don't you just ask someone to help you, to help you work out what you want to sell, to help you list those items. You take lots of photos. Make sure you take it in good lighting and you take lots of different angles so people can get a really good feel for the condition and what the item actually looks like. Also, if you still have the boxes and the receipts and the warranty cards for that item, make sure you take a photograph of those as well. All these little things make a big difference when it comes to successful selling. Be descriptive. Make sure you give as much information about the item as possible, such as when you bought it, where you bought it from, the reason why you're selling it, the benefits that this particular product has. And I also recommend letting your potential buyers know that they're welcome to ask any questions about the item manage your listing. Make sure you quickly reply back to people who have questions about the items that you're selling. You can also look at promoting or boosting your ad. And I also recommend trying to be flexible with pickups. For example, for the items that I'm selling that are not bulky, I'm actually taking them with me to the office. So the people who can't pick the items up from my home after hours can actually pop into my office and pick them up from me there. Meet face to face to collect your cash. Remember, this is a great opportunity to meet people from your community and also you guys share a common interest. Now for good luck, I'm actually going to share with you two additional tips that I found really helpful when it comes to selling. The first one is to bank that cash. Remember, we want this cash to count. So as soon as you have that cash, make sure you go and deposit it into your bank account, ideally a separate savings account so you can watch it grow. The second tip is to keep those items that you're selling out to remind you that you want to get rid of these items and you want to sell them. Keep them out until they're sold. And if a certain amount of period passes, you can look at donating them to charity. Now I'm having so much fun selling the unwanted items in my home and raising some cash. So much so that over the next 10 days, any items that I sell through Gumtree, I will be donating the cash to the Rural Aid Buy a Bail for our farmers that are experiencing tough times 
from the drought at the moment. And I'm also going to speak to my neighbours, my family and my friends to see if there are any other items that they would like help selling. So I highly encourage everyone to get on board with this. Free up some extra cash in your home, get rid of all those unwanted items and put this money towards your own financial goals. I tell you what, it feels so good seeing the cash, decluttering your home and seeing the space and energy free up. Good luck selling everyone and let me know how you go. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do because I will be sharing with you exactly how much money I raise through Gumtree and how much money I donate to the Rural Aid. Ciao for now everyone.